What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 6. Now, as you all know, about a month ago I made a guide relating to the best way to farm HL, which is money in Disgaea 6. And in that video, I did also mention that while it was the best method at the time, there is a better method coming once we get access to the DLC. Because we were actually missing a few unique Evelties at the time. Now, in terms of how much of a difference those Evelties actually made, if you were, if you remember back or you go and take a look at the, that previous video, you'll know that whenever I attacked these, uh, these Lucky Boards and the Geo Symbols, I was doing anywhere between 2 and 5 sextillion damage. However, if we just go ahead and end the turn right now, let's actually see just how much damage we do now with all of these new Evelties. Well, I say all, there's there's two new Evelties that we needed, basically. But yeah, so remember, previously we were on 2 to 5 SX. Let's just take a look at what we're on now, shall we? When it actually uh, slows down. There we go. 190, 103, 106 SX. So yeah, we're doing pretty much between 90 to 110 SX with uh, the odd lucky hit going all the way up to 190. Now, every now and again, though, the, will, uh, it will swap over to, you know, counters with uh, this lucky board, which is where you saw it drop down to about 40 SX, because for some reason, uh, it's only Desco who's doing that counter. Don't know why, I've not worked, uh, I've not worked that one out just yet. But yeah, as you can see, the damage is now vastly, vastly superior. So, let's take a look at how much HL I actually have. Now, as you can see right there... You don't really know just how much it is, unfortunately, you know, just because of the um, the unfortunate, like, cap on it, so to speak. But we're going to see that right now, and then we're going to get in and show you guys exactly the setup used for this method. But first, I want to give a big, big thank you to all of my lovely Patreons. Guys, thank you all so, so much for the support. It does mean a lot. And of course, if you want to get your name on screen like these beautiful people, then go ahead and take a look at the Patreon link down below in the description. Right. So we've just cleared the stage. Let's take a look at how much HL we got. Boom. So that's, uh, what, 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 trillion, 1 quadrillion, 1 quintillion. So that's 1.7 quintillion. And that was left for a little under 4 hours. So, very, very high amount. 1.7 quintillion. That is huge. It is huge. But, I'm still not optimized. So, there is still a lot more to be earned than that method. Well, I say that method. There is a lot more to be earned than that amount. Because, you know, I'm, I'm missing so much in terms of stats and uh, some unique innocence that it is actually lowering my damage by a huge, huge, huge amount. So, let's actually get into what we need first and foremost, shall we? So, straight off the bat, we needed to wait for Desco and Killia to release. And the main reason for that is we needed Evelties. So, as you know, before we used two Prinnies, we've swapped that out. Now we're using one Prinny and Desco. Now, unfortunately, uh, you know, my gear is still not good. That's why, you know, the stats are kind of low. But in terms of Evelties, the main reason we're using Desco is her final boss setting increases attack by ally, uh, ally units within two panels times 10%. So straight off the bat, our Prinny has got an extra 10% attack just from her. That's 10% more attack than we had when we were using two Prinnies. For actual Evelties, we're using support attack. I've not got 100% demerit on Desco just yet. If you do have 100% and you have the extra unique Evelty slot, you should use Rising Dragon for the second one. In terms of common novelties, we're using Mermaid Cord, Mana Blade, Spirit Gun, Piercing Shot, Handicap, Damage Reward, Powerful Bonds. Now, Powerful Bonds is the uh, the big one that we were waiting on. That is from Killia. And what that does is during team attacks, increases critical damage by 25% per ally joining the team attack. So straight off the bat, crits are much, much more powerful. And then it is the exact same for the Perini, basically. Sports Attack, Rising Dragon, and then the same common abilities across them both. In terms of the other eight characters that are going to be on the field, we want a couple of different sets of Evelties for these. 
Now, you can use any character you want out of all of these. However, there are two that I do suggest using above all else. The first one being Marjolaine. I will touch on that uh, when we get to her, uh, but for now, I'll just tell you who they are. So, Marjolaine and Rosalind. There is a very, very specific reason why we want to use both of these characters. Uh, as for the other, you know, the other six, doesn't matter. Use whoever you want. Right, in terms of Evelties, we want Dominant Smile, Lucky Song, Kill With Water, Handicap, and Fearsome Wonsome. Now, Fearsome Wonsome is from Desco, and that basically lowers the resistance of enemy units within a set range. Uh, by 4%. So by having multiple of these, it means we can really lower their resistance even more to deal just like ridiculous damage. Now this setup you actually want on 3 or 4 units. Doesn't really matter too much uh, how many you have. Uh, but realistically you want enough of this to where it would be... Uh, it would be quite an increase, basically, but if I just go through and show you, so we've got the same on a pretty, so that's two characters that are completely the same. Now, Marjolaine is a little bit different. Marjolaine is a little, little bit different. So for Marjolaine, we're going to be using Dominant Smile, Lucky Song, Handicap, then we're going to be using Bodyguards, Listen to My Song, and Taste of Victory. The reason we're using uh, bodyguards is because the pretty counts as a male unit. So this is just giving a little bit more damage for our main attacking unit, the pretty. And then we've got listen to my song, which increases the attack power of male units by 5% each attack. So that basically multiplies by each attack the male unit does. So that's an extra 50% damage right there as well because Marjolaine is uh, is pretty close to the male unit. So straight off the bat, we're just increasing the damage of the Perini because he's going to be the one doing all our damage for this method. Then we have Taste of Victory just to increase Marjolaine's stats. That's important because of this Magic Instructor ability. Increases attack power of ally units within two panels by 10% of own intelligence. So basically, you want to get Marjolaine's intelligence as high as possible. Ideally, you'll be capped at 32 trillion. I'm not, I'm only at 4 trillion, so I'm losing a heck of a lot of damage from that as well. Moving on to Meliodia, uh, we've got Absolute Ruler, Lucky Song, Kill With Water, and Fearsome Wonsome. So it's very much the, um, the same as pre uh, previously, however, We've actually changed over from Dominant Smile to using Absolute Ruler. And the reason for that is, unfortunately, Desco doesn't gain any benefit from Dominant Smile. So we just change over to Absolute Ruler to increase her stats as well. Now, this setup right here is actually really easy because you just want five of this. You want all four of these abilities on five different units. So if I just scroll through a bit, as you'll see, it's on five different units, basically. And that is it for the Evelties for the 10 main units. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward in terms of Evelties and what you needed. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same as the previous video, only we're now using Fearsome Wonsome and Powerful Bonds. And those two Evelties alone do actually make up a huge, huge, huge amount of damage. Now, let's talk about gear and stats, as well as squads. So let's do, let's do squads first and foremost, because that's going to be the easiest one. So, I've got everyone here in the Prinny unit, just because, you know, I might as well give them the benefit of Dominant Smile. Doesn't honestly matter, to be fair. It's like, they don't really affect the uh, the tower attack in any way or anything like that. So, yeah, they, these can be in pretty much any, any squad they want. The exception, however, is your two main attackers. So, Desco and your Prinny. They need to be in the skill squad. And the reason for that is normal attacks will deal 100% extra damage when they are in that squad. For the third character for that squad, you actually want Marjolaine. And the reason for that is she needs to be in the same squad as the Prinny to give her the effect of, uh, of Bodyguard, basically. So that is it for squad. So now let's take a look at equipment. Now equipment on all the characters doesn't actually matter as much as you might think. Apart from Marjolaine. Marjolaine needs a... Uh, she needs a staff equipped, basically, because it just increases her damage even more. As for your main characters, honestly, they can use whatever you would really want, as long as you have enough attack range that you could effectively hit everything. Also, make sure you spend your item points to max out attack on your Desco 
and your Prinny. You want as much attack max as you possibly can. Now, as you can see from my stats, I'm still working on gear at the moment. I've really been letting it slip for the, uh, the past couple of weeks, so I am a bit further behind than I really should be. But yeah, your Prinny and your Desco need as much attack as possible. Ideally, once you have all the uh, the stat boosting levels, once you're on the field, you will be at 32 trillion attack. Now, I'm very close to that with uh, with my Prinny. I just need to finish maxing its attack aptitude. It's at about 3,500 right now, so it's still a bit of ways. Uh, but that'll give me the last bit of attack I need there. Desco is literally miles away. She's only at about 11 trillion in fight. So she's missing about 20 trillion attack right there as well. That's because of gear and aptitudes. So straight off the bat, I'm missing quite a lot of damage from there. Which means the HL you can gain is going to be vastly, vastly, vastly higher than even I just gained if you are maxed. In terms of stats for the other characters, that doesn't really matter as much, apart from Marjolaine. And the stat that matters the most for her is, again, going to be Intelligence. I already mentioned this previously, uh, her LT increases damage of ally units by 10% of her Intelligence. So you really want to get Marjolaine up to 32 trillion Intelligence as well for an even bigger boost. Now... Once you've got all of that, once you've got 32 trillion attack on your Prinny and Desco, and 32 trillion intelligence on Marjolaine, with this setup, you will be earning 75 quadrillion hal per hit. That is per hit. Which means within, well, the amount of HL I just earned, which was 1.7 quintillion, once you are completely maxed out with attack and intelligence on these three characters, with this LT setup, you will actually be earning that same amount of HL in a less than five minutes. It is, it is simply that crazy. Now, when it comes to actually maxing out the HL counter in the game, even using this method at full power, it will still take about eight days straight to actually cap the HL. Kind of annoying, I know, especially if you actually want to, you know, use the juice bar to cap health and SP and things like that. It is going to be a very, very long grind, but this is the way to do it. Now that we've gone through all of those details, let's actually just uh, briefly talk about the actual method for doing so. So, first things first, make sure in the cheat shop you have all the stars turned down to zero. Uh, it doesn't matter about money or anything like that, uh, that doesn't affect this method. But yeah, make sure enemy strength is down to zero, back to square one is turned on. These two are important, we want the enemies to be as weak as possible, and we need a specific enemy layout as well. So these two are the big ones. In fact, you know what, I've just realised I didn't actually talk about uh, innocence on equipment, did I? So let's quickly take a look at that. Okay, so the important ones on Desco and the Prinny. You want Combo Maker on everything, basically. On all four pieces of gear, you want Combo Maker for more attacks. In terms of regular innocence, you want Hypnotist and Professional and Cryophile. Coffee Maker doesn't really matter, I just use that because I use a War Lady to put everything to sleep while I go around throwing everything and destroying uh, Geo Symbols and things like that. So I just use Coffee Maker so that my characters don't get affected by that, uh, that full strike that has uh, 100 sleep innocence basically. Now this is the exact same for the Prinny as well. The only thing that you need is Professional and Hypnotist and Cryophile. Uh, my Cryophile's there. Doesn't matter about any of the other Innocents or anything like that. Uh, brokers do not affect this method. And once again, you need Combo Makers on everybody. Now for everybody else, you don't really need any common Innocents. All you need is the unique Innocents, which is Sumo Wrestler. And the reason you want Sumo Wrestler is for every single Sumo Wrestler, monsters deal an extra 20% damage. So if you have 8 characters, fully loaded up with all the uh, all the sumo wrestlers that is an extra 640 percent damage right there now fortunately i'm still missing quite a few sumos as well as i mentioned earlier i've been really really slacking lately so yes i'm i'm still missing quite a few sumos unfortunately so there's still there's still quite a lot of damage to be gained that way as well all right we've talked about everything now apart from the stage and how to set this up so, in order for this to work, we're going to go to Magical uh, Musical World 2 and we're going to go to Sky Dream Street. Make sure you're on the normal stage difficulty just because, you know, it's going to be uh, much, much faster and things like that. And of course, lower stats means more damage. So, once you load into Sky Dream, 
One of the best things I could honestly suggest is have a war lady. Just have a war lady. It doesn't matter what they're equipped with or anything like that. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can uh, take, you know, like a weapon off. Uh, well, let's take Desco's, you know, just for this uh, this method. Uh, obviously, I've already taken it off, but let's just throw on the Neo Ball Sword. As you know, it's got Hypnotist uh, and Professional on. So now that we've got Hypnotist on, my war lady here does actually have Handicap on as well. So if we just use Full Strike, boom, everything is now asleep. So nothing can move or anything like that. You're perfectly safe. And it also means enemies can't use AoE to kill the uh, the lucky symbols, basically. Now, the very start, end turn a couple of times because reinforcements will come out. Just repeat the process, full strike, put them to sleep, and so on and so forth. Once two units come out, that is going to be all the units that will come for now. So what you want to do is you want to use a unit, move it all the way across the other side of the field, and just lift up this blue geo symbol right here. Throw it away. Doesn't matter. Just don't destroy it because then that would annoy people. Just don't have it on the actual uh, the tiles, that's all. Once you've done that, you want to take this 50% attack symbol and this enemy weakened symbol and you want to throw them down here onto the bottom row. And the reason for that is we want a geo symbol here and here. And then we want to move all the enemies into a row here going all the way down. But before that, you actually need to do a little something else. You need to use Marjolaine's unique skill, Miraculous Change. What that does is that turns enemies into Lucky Boards. And the reason we want to turn enemies into Lucky Boards is because their resistances are naturally much lower than everybody else. And that is literally it in a nutshell, guys. That is how you farm HL at the absolute most optimal performance. As I mentioned, once you are completely, completely optimized, you will be going at about 75 quadrillion per turn. So it is, of course, a absolutely huge, huge amount. But if you want to max HP, Godspeed, because, uh, well, you're crazier than I am. Still though guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope it's helped. If it has, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And of course, if you do want to uh, request any other guides for Disguise 6, feel free to let me know and uh, I'll see if I can help you with them. As always though everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.